Stillwater's home camp this weekend, and it's been a special blessing to each and every one of you. I hope you've enjoyed our journey through the mountains that Brother Branham walked in, the homes he lived in, and the places God vindicated his word in our day. And he met me the other day in the, up there in the yard. Brother Woodson was shouting and praising God that I'm eating bacon, eggs, tomatoes, anything you want. <laughs> Humbly, you bring up his feet, get back in there, out of the way, and pray. See, you don't need a prayer card. You only need faith. And he ran their clothes, and they set him there on. And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way, and others cut out branches from the trees and screw them in the way. Now, close your eyes. But this can here really confirm Brother Joseph is a prophet. I can't explain why, but in my heart, Brother Joseph is definitely a prophet. And he knows it. His house, talking to him just a couple of years ago. People, and then his eyes come back and hit me straight like that. And he said, there's a colored man sitting way back here. Got a burden on his heart. As far as wife. She's not here even. She's got trouble with her feet. <laughs> you believe in a healer? You do? You're a stranger here. You're from across the sea. You're from Jamaica. You believe God can tell me who you are? Mr. Brady. You believe? Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And the part that really get me is when he said, um, You believe God know your name? I stood up and I held my hand just like that. He said, Do you believe the Lord know your name, sir? I said, Yes, sir. And he said, Mr. Brady, go back. Believe the Lord. Why feet to be made over. Because I had a letter in my coat pocket and I never say anything to anybody that I had it. Never. All in there, just somebody say, ask somebody to pray for me. That's all. But I never did ask anybody either. You know? When I went back to where we were staying, I wrote a letter immediately and I posted it in the morning. And Gloria got it back here. And then, she got a letter and she read it right there. She said when she read the letter, she felt some kind of feeling. She looked down on her legs and they were normal. It just never leave me all through the years. Hey, bud, what's going on? Hey, is there Brother Brandon? Is there a bird? Can I come in? 